I'm Shahid Salim. I'm the architect and designer of the Ramadan Pavilion. And the project is a pavilion uh, which, is, which celebrates the history of the mosque and Muslim culture in Britain. And it's being built in the uh, Exhibition Road courtyard of the Victor and Albert Museum for 2023. This uh, project, the idea started 10 years ago, one could say, uh, when I was working on the research for my book, The British Mosque. So I was traveling around the country, visiting mosques all over the country, talking to people who were involved in establishing those mosques. And um, I would try and sort of like process, you know, what I'd seen and, and what I'd spoken about. And I'd make sketches. And often the drawings that I was making were kind of bits of Islamic architecture within a sort of domestic English vernacular landscape. So what I found is that mosques in Britain are very much these iterative, self-built, uh, ad hoc types of building. So for the references that I've looked at for the design of this pavilion, I've looked at references of historic Islamic architecture that is in the prints and drawings collection of the v &A. And for me, that's a way of um, looking at a particular uh, a period of representation of uh, Islamic architecture of the Islamic world by Europeans as they were experiencing it. Um, I looked at a painting, a 19th century painting of the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, and it was a section, sectional painting of the building. Um, and in that you can see the dome and you can see these um, sort of shapes, these kind of like you know, circular shapes that are on the inside of the dome and the exact kind of dome profile. So that's what's been replicated here in, this, in the dome here. So I've kind of taken the shapes that, that, I've, that I see in those paintings and turned them into a slightly different uh, form or a slightly different type of pattern. Uh, so it's not a kind of one-to-one -one replication, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an interpretation or it's a spin-off of what I see in that drawing. Um, and for example, with the minaret, there's a photograph of an early 20th century photograph uh, of a minaret in, in Cairo. And again, a very historic, you know, traditional sort of probably 12th or 13th century uh, uh, minaret. For the trusses, for example, that you see here, these were taken from uh, sketchbooks of James Wilde. Uh, again, 19th century drawings of, of uh, his travels around uh, sort of North Africa and Muslim countries. And he made these very detailed observations of different parts of uh, Islamic art, uh, in abstract art and, and geometries and so on. And so from some of the drawings that he's made, or, or I, I sort of turned those into the truss pattern, uh, along with, um, you know, the amazing fabricators that I've worked with to make this pavilion and also the engineers, because it obviously had to work structurally. So those also informed, you know, those factors also informed how the uh, design developed. My name's Simon Davenport and I'm director of SD Projects. We've been commissioned to fabricate the Ramadan Pavilion for the Victorian Albert Museum. Uh, so we decided at the beginning of the fabrication process that we're going to try and largely construct the pavilion out of uh, CNC plywood. Um, so most of these elements are formed up of um, 25 mil thick CNC marine grade ply. So essentially what you have before you've glued and screwed everything together is a flat pack uh, pavilion. And then also to take this truss element, for example, this would be four layers of 25 mil ply, CNC'd, glued together in staggered formation. And then we've got uh, internal steel supports because, because of the, the span across here, which is approximately 11 meters. So because it is uh, flat packed and modular, it is in fact demountable and it can be taken down and stored in a much uh, smaller volume than it is than it appears now. Uh, and that means that it can move from location to location and it can uh, have another life uh, elsewhere. There was a huge amount of engineering involved. Um, we work with a company called Whitby Wood who have uh, calculated in their modeling um, exactly the kind of fixing details, the, the type of steel plates we need. Uh, there have been a few challenges, but we've uh, enjoyed overcoming them. For example, this uh, wavy detail here on the, the dome, uh, we had to form using uh, three layers of ply, and we made a kind of a jig in the, in the shape of the radius here. And then we've glued each layer on top of each other 
uh, over the jig and once the glue sets you can release it and it's, it takes that shape in theory forever.